Goto's Sanchez. Of course, I just broke it down about Julio. He's been doing it since day one. He's a producer. He's the CEO of GT Entertainment, GT Digital Distribution Company. He does movies. He manages brands. He networks. He's the man. He does it all. He does it all. And he does it well. He can rap. He can produce. He is the bridge of all bridges. He's the San Francisco bridge. You feel me? He's the bridge. He's the Sixth Street Bridge. He's going to bridge our people. He got the producer skills, the rapping skills, the ear for the music, the connections, the experience. He knows how to go through all this Tom Foley of drama. He dealt with the hater world. He dealt with Bozo. He dealt with Lefty. Everybody hating on him, and he took it with stride with a smile. Because he's smiling in their face and bury him, you mean? And who did he start working with? Little One. He started shot. He shot out Little One on the Bootleg Kev show, and I think also on American Cholo. Like, do you guys know about Little One? I didn't even know about him. And I actually didn't know about him either. I'm trying to tell you guys, I do not know anything about Chicano rap. I can't stand Chicano rap, to be honest. It don't got good beats. It sounds like you're in like a closet. And it's not the rhyme play. The delivery isn't strong, bro. You know what I mean? Another person that's going to be out of this mix, Cypress Hill. As we talk, I'm just pushing people out. Again, on the on the list of people that are out, OG Easy, Peso, Chito Grandes, Cypress Hill. You know what I mean? The Joint and uh, Little Iggs, youngsters that should be involved. But the first person is Gold Toes. The second person is Little One from San Diego. <laughs> Little One is a rapper coming out of San Diego, dog. He is one of the godfathers of Chicano rap. He's one of the first creators of the Chicano rap sound coming out of San Diego. A lot of people think that Chicano rap came out of Los Angeles, but let's be honest, Chicano rap truly started in San Diego, you know? So shout out to Little Run. Another person who's out the mix you might think that's going to be on this group is Little Rob. Little Rob is not on this mix. Why? Because he's a cool vato. He did his little run. He did a CD, but he doesn't seem like he's really trying to unify and kind of hang out. And anybody that knows him knows that when he's around the group of, of other rappers and people, he, he doesn't really socialize. He gets in respectful, cool, will talk to you, but then he's out. So I just don't see him on a compilation. If I do, he would be like an honorable mention. We'll bring him in, but he's not the center focus. Shout out to him. Another person who will not be on this compilation is Little Grifo. Grifo's locked up. Hope he's free. I helped him get on the full community. And the second he got on the full community, he forgot about me, unfollowed me. So... No love to little Grifo. Get your life together and get back on the horse. And hopefully you can be on this compilation. But little one. So the first two who either collab or will be on this compilation is Goltos and Little One. They had a massive run, run interviews on Bootleg Cab. You know what I mean? Jumped on Shimo Media, did a cipher over there. Did a bunch of work together. Did a song together. Little One made the song that he rapped with Jenny 6 9 Come on, bro. And then they did a song together. And Goto's, you know, produced some music for him and all that. And they really they really did a movement, a wave. They threw interviews and songs and ciphers. They really hit every avenue of the hip-hop game and community together. So shout out to Little One and Goto's. <laughs> The next two on the list, starting with my brother, Conejo. <laughs> Coming out of dead end, you feel me? Harpies gang, salute South Central. You know what I mean? And uh, Conejo is a, a legend, the only Chicano rapper that I have ever listened to from beginning to end, from, you know, right when I got into L.A. to now. That's what I mean, from beginning to end. My life started when I got to L.A. in 2001. Rest in peace to Dan Daniel Rest in peace to Daniel Chapolin from South Central who got me on Conejo. Conejo is a G for many reasons from the streets, from surviving the streets, from surviving assassination attempts, from surviving hater raids, you know what I mean? From surviving all these things to come out to be on moves with Shia LaBeouf to make great music again, to put me in a music video with him, knowing where I was from, you know what I mean? Working with Coyotes for a higher shot to them, they will be back on this conversation in a minute to being open and publicly saying there's nothing wrong with Goto's working in Los Angeles as long as he comes with respect I don't even think he put it like that but it's already a given that Goto's is going to come with respect and he tells a story about how he got nothing but love from northerners when he was up there 
and how we should show the same when you're in LA, right? These are the stories we, we need to show in here, people. We don't need to hear Bozo's lame stories talking about hating on the Northerners when he never even met one or got beat up by one or something because he got something's going on with Bozo. Bozo, you got to work on it, go to therapy, figure out why you hate North Daniel so much. It shit is weird. Shit's wild. But Cornejo came out and said, let the Vato work. They showed me love up there. 